started here. Um, may I first ask that everyone please stand. The Lee County Sheriff Cadets will now present arms. The Pledge of Allegiance will follow. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I would like to now welcome our principal of the Alva School, Dr. Shaker. Good morning, parents. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for being here today. And I appreciate the long walk from the backfield, guys. I know uh, it can be a hike out in the heat, but we appreciate you coming. And parking back there, it saves us uh, in the good graces of the church. Guys, we have an incredible group of seventh graders here. I can tell you there's a, a, an absolute excitement in our building about having this group be in charge of our school next year. Um, they have a really neat opportunity uh, to rise up to help define the culture, the tradition, and the shape of our school. We talk to our students a lot about what shape means. We say that Ramblers shape the future. It stands for uh, service, hope, achievement, pride, and effort. And these guys are working towards uh, being absolute uh, heroes when it comes to shape. So it is my uh, I love being able to lead off, but it is, uh, I really want to turn it over to one of the primary organizers, Mr. Bonacolta and Ms. Fretter have been instrumental in putting together this award ceremony. So I want to introduce Ms. Fretter. Come on up. Good morning. Thank you for being here today. Um, it's hard for me to believe that I know every single kid sitting in a chair I've had them for two years, and it's just been amazing to be with them. Um, and so I'm super excited to be here today with all of you. I did want to mention that there are several awards that the kids could be receiving today. Um, AB Honor Roll, A Honor Roll, Academic Achievement Awards for each of their academic subjects, Most Improved, Citizenship, uh, Top Boy and Girl for each class, and then we also have a special award for our chosen top girl and top boy for the entire grade level. But no matter what the award that they receive, we're proud of them all. Um, they've worked really hard and uh, have given the Alva School an exceptional reputation. Uh, with that, I'm going to introduce Mr. Bonacolta. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Mike Bonacolta. I am the seventh grade, one of the seventh grade civics teachers here at the Alva School. We want to express our gratitude to those parents and teachers who have made a lot of effort to support, develop, and finalize the personality of the young talents present with us this afternoon. We are extremely pleased to recognize and mention the contributions of each and every student present here today. We thank you all for coming together uh, and supporting their efforts and achievements at the ceremony. Before we begin, begin the presentation of awards, Mrs. Ross is going to explain the CTE certifications that many of our students have earned. So I'm going to pass this off to Mrs. Ross. Hello, everyone. Some students today will be receiving CTE certifications that they have earned throughout the year. We would like to take a moment to explain these. Uh, CTE stands for Career Technical Education. During this course, students have the opportunity to earn digital tools certifications that focus on information, communications, and media technologies to help prepare them for their future education and careers. This year, our amazing middle schoolers earned a total of 309 certifications, despite losing a month of school to the in the fall. 
They also learn how to read and write Python, one of the most popular coding languages in the world, along with starting a farm bot, 3D designing, printing, and continue to build and code various types of robots. Um, I do have several students who chose to earn an additional certification, and I would like to recognize them by having them stand up just for a quick second. So Gracelyn Parker, Trey Pringle, Orlando Bradenkamp, Abigail Wood, and Jacob Clagus earned an additional certification, and then Tyler Capaldo earned two additional certifications for the max of four that you can earn in a school year. So thank you. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Burroughs to start the awards. Good morning. All right, I'm going to start. Uh, let me put my glasses on. Nayani Frietes. Am I loud enough? Yeah. All right. Top Girl Civics Book Battle Team. So I'm going to hand that to you. Leah Swanson. Citizenship Award Art, A Honor Roll, Overall Science, Cambridge Research, two CDT certifications, and Book Battle Team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Abigail Wood. Uh, top girl, subject, CET coding, A honor roll, ELA overall, civics, three certifications for CETE, book battle team, and perfect attendance. <laughs> Callie Adams, uh, Rambler Shape Award for effort. Jackson Adamson. Most Improved Boys Subject Reading, uh, A Honor Roll Civics, A B Honor Roll Reading, ELA and Math. <laughs> Justin Adamson, uh, A B Honor Roll Math, completed six segments in Read at 180. <laughs> Jace Albert, A B Honor Roll Reading. Jadian Al Cowdy, I hope I said that right. Jadian. A honor roll, ELA reading math, and then A B honor roll, overall civics and science. Right. Uh, Yanni Alicia, A B honor roll, overall math, ELA, Cambridge Research, one CET certification. Lillian Anderson, uh, Citizenship Award, Agriculture. A, B, honor rolls overall, and two C, T, E certifications. Right. David Aravello. Uh, Ariana Arroyo, top girl math. A, honor roll math, A, B, honor roll overall, ELA Civic Science in Cambridge. Cooper Ashley. Shape Award for Pride. Elise Ashley, two CETE certifications. Marina Asselin, uh, AB Honor Roll, ELA, and AB Honor Roll overall. Sophia Balmer, uh, Rambler Shape Award for Hope. <laughs> Owen Barker. Not here. That one's on here. Yes. Uh, Christopher Barnes Martinez, most improved AG. A honor roll civics, A B honor roll science. Alexander Beckel, Rambler Shape for Effort. Isaiah Best, A B honor roll math. 
Aiden Bill, Most Improved Boy, Personal Finance. Braden Ben Civics, A Honor Roll Civics, A B Honor Roll ELA and Reading. Jessa Bird, A Honor Roll Civics, A B Honor Roll Overall. Caden Blankenship, two CTE certifications. Aubrey Bodak. Uh, a honor roll Cambridge Research, A B honor roll overall math, two CTE certs. <laughs> Demo Bodiat, A B honor roll overall, reading excellence. Anthony Boyder, A B honor roll reading. I'm going to pass this off to Mr. Strunk. We were looking for the mic stand. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Burroughs. Uh, I'm Mr. Strunk. I am the other of the seventh grade math teachers. Thank you for coming out today. I want to ask that you uh, uh, thank you for giving up your time to come out and honor these students. Uh, please hold your applause until the end of the row, and we'll acknowledge all of our students. Philip Botsford, top reading student and A honor roll for reading as well. Cameron Boyce, most improved in advisement. Yes, this one's mine. Trenton Bragg, A B honor roll for reading. Orlando Bredenkamp, top boy reading, most improved in art. A honor roll for reading overall, ELA, uh, science, and for civics, and three CTE certifications. And, and top boy in my science class. Darren Brounce, AB honor roll for reading, civics, and science. <laughs> Colton Bullard, three CTE certifications. Caden Burgoyne, A honor roll for civics, A B honor roll for overall and for science. <laughs> Hayden Burley, A honor roll, civics. <laughs> Ali Cade, Rambler Shape Award for hope. Anaya Campbell, Top Girl Advisement, A Honor Roll Reading, A B Honor Roll, E L A and Civics. Tyler Capaldo, Top Boy in CTE and Global Perspectives, A Honor Roll, Overall, Math, E L A, Civics, Science, Cambridge, four CTE certifications. Caden Capello, Top Boy ELA, A Honor Roll, ELA, Reading, Science, A B Honor Roll, Overall, Mass Civics, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> Melissa Carranza, A B Honor Roll, Reading. Mackenzie Carver, Top Girl, Reading, A B Honor Roll, Overall, Civics, ELA, Science, Reading Excellent, 14 segments in. Read 180. Jason Castillo, A B honor roll, literature, study class, ELA, reading and science. Valerie Castillo, A B honor roll, reading and math. Davia Cavazos, most improved girl in reading, A B honor roll as well for reading. Savannah Chaffins Chason, A B honor roll for reading. Mackenzie Champ, most improved girl in art, A honor roll, ELA and civics, and completed 13 segments in Read 180. <laughs> Tucker Chili, Rambler Shape Award for achievement. Wyatt Clawson, A B honor roll, reading. 
Savannah Coleman, A Honor Roll, Civics and Science, A B Honor Roll, Reading, Overall, and ELA. <laughs> Timothy Cunahan, A B Honor Roll for Reading. <laughs> Roxy Crook, A B Honor Roll, Overall Literature Study Class. Devin Cummins, AB Honor Roll, ELA, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> Braden Dallum, Rambler Shape Award for service. John DeLargy, A Honor Roll for science, and AB Honor Roll overall, ELA, and civics. And now I turn it over to seventh grade science teacher, Mr. Dunn. Thank you, guys. So I had all of the seventh grade science students this year. And uh, I got a good stack here for you guys. So we've got Aiden De Jesus Miller, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. I'm going to cut him through this one. Austin DeRisso. For Citizenship Award for Reading, A Honor Roll for Reading, Overall, Civics and Science, and A B Honor Roll for ELA and Math. <laughs> Sharon Domania, is absent. Daniela Dominguez. We got Top Girl for my science class, and we have A Honor Roll Overall and for Math, ELA, Science, and the Cambridge Reading. Allison Dorador, AB Honor Roll for Overall and ELA and Civics and Science. <laughs> Chloe DuBose, Most Improved Girl for both Civics and Math. <laughs> We've got Natalia Duranco, a Rambler Shape Award for Pride. Nicole Eckmeyer, Most Improved Girl for Ag, and AB Honor Roll for Reading, ELA, and Civics. <laughs> Mackenzie Edmonds, AB Honor Roll Overall, as well as for ELA, Civics, Science, and Cambridge Reading. She's not here. Jaden Emerson, Most Improved Girl for CTE Coding. AB Honor Roll for Reading Overall, as well as ELA, Civics, and Math, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> Charles Estabillo, Honor Roll AB for Math, as well as nine segments completed in Reading 180. <laughs> Benjamin Evans, Top Boy for Math, most Improved for ELA, A Honor Roll for Civics, Reading, and Math, and AB Honor Roll for ELA and Science, as well as two certificates for CTE. <laughs> Paige Fenton, A Honor Roll for ELA, Civics, Science, and Cambridge, as well as an AB Overall e uh, and one certificate for CTE. Ivan Fernandez, AB Honor Roll for Literature Study Class, as well as Math and Cambridge. <laughs> Amani Francis, a Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. <laughs> Valentino Frenzoni, AB Honor Roll for Literature Study Class and for Reading. Hope Frazier, Citizenship Award for Art, Most Improved Girl for Math, A Honor Roll for Literature Study, Overall Math, ELA, Civics, Science, and Cambridge. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Graham Fer uh, Freeland, AB Honor Roll for Reading, ELA, and Civics. <laughs> Emma Fuentes, 
Citizenship Award for Personal Finance, Top Girl in Art, AB Honor Roll in ELA, Civics, and Science, and Cambridge. <laughs> Caleb Fuller, Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. <laughs> Lisette Gamero, seven segments in Read 180 have been completed. Xander Gilmore, top boy in his civics class, most improved in global perspectives, A honor roll in civics, A B honor roll in math, ELA, and Cambridge. Aiden Glenn, A honor roll in math, A B honor roll in ELA. Riley Godwin, A B. AB Honor Roll in ELA, Reading and Math, and Overall. <laughs> Caleb Goff, top boy in his Ag and Civics class. Evan Gonzalez, AB Honor Roll in Reading. I don't know who is next. All right, and uh, up next is again Mrs. Fetter. I'll trade spots with you. Okay. Need the microphone. <clears throat> Kayla Gonzalez, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. She's not here. Are you going to do it? All right. Jordan Harrell, Top Girl for Ag, AB Honor Roll for Reading, Overall, ELA, and Science. Bryce Haas, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. Cora Hayes, A Honor Roll for Reading, AB Honor Roll for ELA. Joshua Hendricks, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. Zoe Hernandez, AB Honor Roll for Reading. <laughs> Kenzie Hernandez, Citizenship Award for Reading, A Honor Roll for Math, AB Honor Roll for Civics and Reading, and two CTE certificates. Good job. Kale Hicks, A Honor Roll for Civics, AB Honor Roll for Cambridge Research. Piper Higginbotham, Citizenship Award for ELA, Top Girl for Physical Education, A Honor Roll Overall, ELA, Civics, Science, Cambridge Research, and two CTE certifications. Aliyah Hill, citizenship, <laughs> citizenship Award for Global Perspectives, A Honor Roll Overall, Civic Science, Cambridge Research, and AB Honor Roll for ELA. <laughs> Kira Holmes, AB Honor Roll for Civics, Reading, and Math. <laughs> Tyndall Howard, CTE Certifications, two. I apologize, Aiden. It, the, the folders must have gotten mixed up. Sorry, buddy. Aiden Hobbs, most improved boy for ag, A honor roll overall for math, ELA, civics, reading, and science. <laughs> Jaden Hoy, top boy for reading, A honor roll for ELA, AB honor roll overall and for math, two CTE certifications, and completed 11 segments in Read 180. Jaden James, most improved girl in reading, AB honor roll for math. <laughs> Daniel Johnson, AB honor roll for reading and science and two CTE certifications. 
Jalen Jones, Rambler Shape Award for effort. Molly Jones, A Honor Roll for Literature Study, overall, AB Honor Roll for ELA and Civics. Aubrey King, A Honor Roll for ELA and Science, AB Honor Roll, Reading, Overall, and Civics. Jacob Clagus, Top Boy for Personal Finance, A Honor Roll for Science, AB Honor Roll for Overall, Math, and Civics, and three CTE certifications. Sawyer Klain, Top Boy for Advisement, A Honor Roll Overall, ELA, Civics, Science, AB Honor Roll, Reading, there we go. So I've butchered this name for the last two years, so I'll probably butcher it again. Logan Kletchka, Most Improved Boy in Art. Sorry, Logan. <laughs> Phoenix Komar, Rambler Shape Award for Hope. <laughs> Connor Crampen, AB Honor Roll for Reading and Math, CTE certifications, two. <laughs> Marcelino Larios, AB Honor Roll for Reading, Literature Study and Math, and two CTE certifications. Ty Lipscomb, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. <laughs> Riley Lloyd, Top Girl for Reading, Progress Monitoring Gains, and AB Honor Roll for Reading. <laughs> Daisy Luca, Most Improved Girl in Ag, and AB Honor, A Honor Roll for Math. And I'd like to introduce Ms. Bird. Hello, thank you for coming. I'm one of the ELA teachers here and I'm so proud of these guys. So let's keep moving. Victor Luck Savage, A Honor Roll Civics. Is he absent? Okay. <laughs> Sophia Linus. One CTE certification, it completed 16 segments in Read 180. <laughs> Jacob McCorkle, AB Honor Roll Reading and ELA. <laughs> Shelvin Machado, A Honor Roll Reading, AB Honor Roll ELA. <laughs> Emmanuel Diaz, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. Alexander Mineta, A Honor Roll, ELA, Civics and Reading. Morgan March, Top Girl in the Subject of Reading. Alexander Martindale, A Honor Roll, Civics, AB Honor Roll, Cambridge Research. Elena Martinez, A Honor Roll Overall, Math, ELA, Civics and Science, A B Honor Roll in Cambridge Research. <laughs> Chloe Matson, Rambler Shape Award for Effort Reading. Trevor Marr, A Honor Roll Overall, A B Honor Roll Reading, Science. Chelsea McDonald, A Honor Roll ELA, AB Honor Roll Cambridge Research, and two CTE certifications. Absent. Gracie McMucklefresh, A Honor Roll Overall, Math, ELA, Civics, Cambridge Research, and AB Honor Roll in Science. <laughs> Madeline McGrath, 
Top girl in the subject of personal finance, A honor roll overall, civics, science, Cambridge research, and AB honor roll in ELA. Reese McLoon, A honor roll in civics, AB honor, honor roll overall, ELA and science. Mason Madarios, citizenship award for civics, a honor roll for science and Cambridge research, A, B, honor roll overall, math and ELA. Caden Mesador, top boy in the subject of ELA, A, honor roll overall, math, ELA, civics, science and Cambridge research. Good job, Caden. Logan Miller, A, honor roll in civics, A, B, honor roll in ELA and science. Hunter Mills, Rambler Shape Award for Effort in Reading, completed six segments in Read 180. Malachi Mills, AB Honor Roll in Cambridge Research, Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. Madeline Morgan, AB Honor Roll in Math. Mason Morgan, top girl in the subject of reading, A honor roll in reading, and AB honor roll in ELA. <laughs> Bryce Munez, citizenship ward in subject of reading, A honor roll in civics, AB honor roll in ELA, completed seven segments in read 180 and reading excellence. <laughs> Megan Murphy, AB honor roll overall, AELA, Civics, Math, and Science. <laughs> Jermaine Neal, AB Honor Roll in Reading. Addison Nellen, A Honor Roll Overall, Civics, Cambridge Research, AB Honor Roll, ELA, and Science. <laughs> Jada Neves, AB Honor Roll in Reading. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Boudreaux. Thank you. All right, let's keep this going. Uh, Olivia Ogini, A honor roll, civics, math, A B honor roll, ELA overall, science, Cambridge, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> Kyler Orsi. Uh, Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. Danielle Padella, Rambler Shape Award for Pride. Danielle. Gracelyn Parker, Most Improved Girl, ELA, and three CTE certifications. Elijah Patrick, AB Honor Roll Overall, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> Isaiah Patrick, AB Honor Roll ELA Overall and Civics, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> John Poulton, Rambler Ship Award for Service. Jamie Pania, Citizenship Award for Civics, A Honor Roll for ELA, Overall Civics, Science, and Cambridge. <laughs> Gabrielle Perez, Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. Gabriel. Sorry, Gabriel. Isumi Perez, A Honor Roll for ELA, Overall Science, AB Honor Roll for Cambridge Research, and two CTE certifications. Uh, Lazaro Perez, Rambler Shape Award for Effort.
Angela Piner, A honor roll for civics, A B honor roll for reading and math. Madeline Perry, most improved girl for personal finance. A honor roll for ELA, overall civics and science. AB honorable for Cambridge Research with two CTE certifications. <laughs> Taylor Pinta, A honorable Civics Science Cambridge, AB honorable for ELA overall and two CTE certifications. Sophia Pomares, Citizenship Award for Civics and Math, Top Girl for ELA, A Honor Roll for ELA and Civics, A B Honor Roll for Math and Science, and completed eight segments of Read 180. Uh -huh. <laughs> Noah Prada, Top Boy for Physical Education, A B Honor Roll for Reading, and two CTE certifications. Robert Trey Pringle, Citizenship Award for CETE Coding, AB Honor Roll Civics and Science, AB Honor Roll for ELA Overall, Cambridge Research, and three CTE certifications. Uh, skip that. Right. Samantha Renda, Most Improved Girl, girl in Advancement, Advisement. Trinity Richter, AB Honor Roll in Civics Math, or sorry, A Honor Roll in Civics and Math, AB Honor Roll in ELA and Reading. Sarah Reiser, Most Improved Girl in Civics, A Honor Roll in ELA Civics, AB Honor Roll in Cambridge. Brion Rios, A honor roll in civics, AB honor roll in overall. <laughs> Emmanuel Rivera, two CTE certifications. Rodolfo Rudy Rivera, a Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. He's next. Right around the side. Travis T.J. Robinson, Most Improved Boy for Reading, two CTE certifications, and completed nine segments in Read 180. All right, following me will be Mr. Bonacolta. All right, we have Preston Rosema, AB Honor Roll, Reading and Math. Again, huh? Braden Ryan, Citizenship Award and Advisement, A Honor Roll, Overall in Civics, Science, AB Honor Roll, Reading, ELA, and two CTE certifications. Jacob Sanders, top boy in art, AB honor roll overall, and two CTE certifications. Hater <laughs> Santos, completed nine segments in reading 180. <laughs> Trey Sassaman, A honor roll in civics, AB honor roll in reading. Alan Saunders, A Honor Roll overall, A Honor Roll in Civics, A B Honor Roll in ELA and Science. Yeah, that's 
This is redone. This Elliot is shot is. We gave Alan the wrong folder. <laughs> I'll just yeah, go with. All right, Elliot Shade, AB honor roll and reading. We had two folders. Dalton Chambers completed six segments in reading 180. We had two folders. Vinny Seminario, Citizenship Award in Reading, AB Honor Roll, Reading. Kinsey Shago, A Honor Roll, ELA, AB Honor Roll, Civics, Cambridge Research, and A Honor Roll Overall. Eric Shiflett, A Honor Roll in Civics, and completed eight segments in Reading 180. Chloe Shook, A.B. Honor Roll in ELA, Math, and completed 10 segments in Read 180. Gianna Siegel, A.B. Honor Roll in Reading. Brody Simmons, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. Olivia Scott. A, B, Honor Roll, Cambridge Research, A, Honor Roll, ELA in Science, and A, Honor Roll Overall. Mason Smith, A, B, Honor Roll in Reading. Taylor Smith, two CTE certifications, A, Honor Roll in ELA, Civics, Science, Cambridge, and A, Honor Roll Overall. Perry Soares, two CTE certifications, AB Honor Roll, Science in Cambridge, A Honor Roll in Civics. Brody Solomon, Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. Brooklyn Saud, AB Honor Roll in Science, A Honor Roll in ELA, Civics, Cambridge, A Honor Roll Overall, and the Top Girl in Global Perspectives. Michaela Spurrier, Rambler Shape Award for Achievement. Graydon Stamper, A Honor Roll, ELA, two CTE certifications, Most Improved Boy in Civics and Science. Chloe Staples. A Honor Roll in Civics, A B Honor Roll in Reading, Math, and Science, Most Improved Girl in Art, and Top Girl in Reading. Lance Stevenson, A B Honor Roll in Reading. And now I'm going to introduce Mrs. Dodd. Thank you, Mr. Bonacolta. Okay, we have Farrah Stevens, who got a Citizenship Award in ELA Science, A Honor Roll in ELA Civics and Math, A B Honor Roll Overall. I don't think she's here. I have Madison Stewart, A Honor Roll in ELA and Civics, A B Honor Roll in Reading, Science, and Overall. Blake Terry, two CTE certifications. That's Hansel. Joshua Thomas, we have A Honor Roll in Civics, A B Honor Roll in ELA. Jalen Tyndall, Most Improved Girl in PE, A B Honor Roll in ELA and Overall. James Tonjes, A B Honor Roll in ELA, Civics, Science, and Cambridge Research. Logan Treese, AB Honor Roll in Civics, Reading, and Overall. Shelby Turner, two CTE certifications. Isabella Van Gordon, Most Improved Girl in Science and Perfect Attendance. Ariana Virtus, Rambler Shape Award for Effort. <laughs> J. 
Justin Vidal Abraham, A honor roll for reading, AB honor roll for ELA, civics, science, and overall. Lariston Wallace, A honor roll for civics, AB honor roll for reading. Peyton Watkins, top boy in reading, a honor roll for ELA reading, science, and overall, and a CTE certification. <laughs> Noah Wells, most improved boy in civics, AB honor roll for ELA reading, math, science, and overall. <laughs> Nathan Witte, A honor roll for reading, AB honor roll for civics, science, and overall. Devin Wilkes, A honor roll for civics and science. Landon Williams, A B honor roll for reading. Riley Williams, top girl for art and ELA, A honor roll in ELA, science, Cambridge research, and A B honor roll overall. Taya Willis, we have top girl for civics, most improved girl for global perspectives, A honor roll for ELA, civics and science, A B honor roll for Cambridge research, and two CTE certifications. <laughs> Leah Wilson, we have Rambler Shape Award for achievement. <laughs> Madison Wilson, a honor roll for ELA, A B honor roll for reading and overall. <laughs> Tyler Wodenshaw, most improved boy in ELA. <laughs> Joseph Sangari, A honor roll for ELA, A B honor roll for reading and math. <laughs> Patrick Zercher. A honor roll for ELA and civics, A B honor roll for reading and science, two CTE certifications. <laughs> and I am going to turn it back over to Ms. Fretter. These were absent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of awards. So fantastic. Um, the next award, the next two awards, are going to be going to our top girl and top boy of the grade level. Um, a lot of criteria goes into that, um, including recommendations from all of their teachers. Uh, I'm honored to give the award for our top girl. This young lady sums up what shape means as a student at Alva. She continually shows service, hope, pride, achievement, and effort and is an excellent role model for those around her. She has managed to maintain an A average in all academic areas throughout her seventh grade year and is also involved in extracurricular activities. Teachers say things like hardworking, reliable, responsible, and compassionate when they describe her. Her academic success is very notable and her character is like none other. She is always kind and respectful to her peers and teachers and often helps others in need. When things get difficult, you can count on her to step up, jump in, and get things done. She definitely has a can-do attitude. Not only would I like to thank this young lady for her outstanding character and solid work ethic, I'd like to thank her parents for raising such an amazing person. She's a role model for both students and adults alike. Please help me congratulate our 2023 Top Female Student of the Year, Piper Higginbotham. All right, I would like to uh, 
announce our top overall male student for the uh, school year. Uh, our top overall male student is a student that I first uh, know since, uh, became to know since uh, last year in cross country. Uh, he was a sixth grade student in cross country and his first race, uh, you know, went well and then it was determined after that to continue improving. And this year he came back, he did it again, and continued to improve his time. And this year I also had the privilege of getting to know this student in class. And he brought the same attitude that he does when he's participating in sports that he does in class. Continuing to improve, continuing to get better, and continuing to strive to achieve greatness, which really is the Rambler way. Uh, every day, waking up, coming at the school, and trying to do better, to get better, and to achieve more. And that's why I am honored to introduce our top overall male student for the 2023 school year, Orlando Bredenkamp. All right, I would now like to introduce our assistant principal, Mrs. Abrams, for our closing remarks. Hi, good morning, guys. I am Mrs. Abrams. I am super excited to be coming to you guys this morning. We have a little surprise that some of our seventh graders started to give away, um, but inside their folders, they have something special. Don't take it out yet. Um, I would like to share what they are first. Um, among the many accomplishments that we celebrate for our seventh graders um, this morning, their hard-earned academic and personal ex excellence. Um, as someone who sat in the chairs that you sit in right now, as a student here at this school, and as a parent who has sat in those bleachers cheering on my own children, um, I recognize the experiences that ALVA offers. Um, those that will shape our students um, go beyond the classroom. And so we're going to talk a little bit about those experiences this morning. Um, and then after we are done, we have a special surprise for you in your folder. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to some eighth graders who will hopefully be able to help you understand what it is that shape should look like to you as an eighth grader, as a leader in the school. You are carrying on a legacy next year that started over a hundred years ago. They're gonna give you some words of advice. So without further ado, Cameron. Um, good morning, my name is Cameron Boyer and service to me is helping someone in need or with their work. Always helping out as much as you can, whether it's by helping a new student find their class or helping someone out. You can do service without even knowing it. Service can also be following directions, whether it's in the classroom or on the bus. You can do service anywhere. And to be honest, service defines your character and the way people see you. Hello, my name is Jaden Budmer, and my word is hope. Um, hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. Hope is a good thing to have. It gives you drive towards things in sports, math, reading, ELA, all those other subjects. Having hope is certainly a good thing, especially if you're going to be the leaders of this school as well. It will come with its challenges, but if the whole upcoming eighth grade class will keep hope, It'll be a really good year for you. Hello, my name is Madison Farrow. My letter is A for achievement. The definition of achievement is success within something you've worked hard on. But achievement is not only succeeding and getting you by, it also helps boost your confidence. Students who lack making achievements have less confidence, and that is why this letter is so important to the Alva School. Achievement to me this year was maintaining all A's and spending over 100 hours volunteering for NJHS. These accomplishments helped me stay confident and made me feel better about myself throughout the year. However, there are many different types of accomplishments that could apply to these students because each and every student is unique. Achievements can be big or small, but they're important to make. Thank you. 
Good morning, my name is David Swanson. I'm going to be talking about pride. Pride is being proud and confident by showing and get through your actions. It is important to show pride in your community, school, and yourself. Showing pride can, could encourage others to take pride in anything they are part of and themselves. Having pride in me, myself helped me to accomplish great grades and high scores in my end of year testing. It will be important to you and others around you to show pride in everything you do. Good morning, my name is Carla. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying that to have great success, you have, to have, you have to put great effort. You wouldn't be here today without us. Since the beginning of the year, all of you have been putting a great amount of effort into your academics, like turning assignments on time, studying for an upcoming test, and doing the extra bit of homework to boost your grade. All the effort you put in now makes a difference in the future. It sets you up for eighth grade and down the road high school as well. If you have a goal in mind, you're gonna shoot with effort. Thank you. All right, so boys and girls in your award folder now, you have received a crown that was created for you in an act of service by another student. This crown signifies the responsibility you have now. And it celebrates how far you have come since becoming a rambler. Please take your crown out and find the two end pieces that fit together and secure it on your head. One more time, congratulations, seventh grade. Mrs. Bird has some directions for those who are staying for the NJHS induction, and then Dr. Shaker will close us out. We're almost there. Thank you. Hi, parents. Hi, students. Um, so I'm the NJHS sponsor, which is the National Junior Honor Society, so the top of the top of seventh grade. This year, we have 36 members being inducted. So I'm going to ask, once um, everyone is dismissed in a few moments, if my NJS, NJHS students can have a seat on the bleachers after you visit with your, your uh, parents. And I will, we will have a short transition from seventh grade awards to induction ceremony. Parents that are, have students being inducted into our program, please stay so that you can um, participate and, and watch your students be inducted into NJHS. So super excited for next year. It's almost double the amount of members we've had this year. And with that being said, I'd like to introduce again, Dr. Shaker. All right. Parents, I'm just here to help with logistics on the way out. If you have a ticket to take with your kiddo, please trade a ticket with your student as you leave the doors. You have to give that ticket to an administrator. Um, we, do, we are excited to do an NJHS uh, ceremony after this, so we are going to ask that we, we can clear the gym as, as quickly as we can, and uh, we'll start that proceeding. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a wonderful day.
kind to foster leadership and citizenship among middle school students. Members in NJHS are awarded based on five pillars of the organization, scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship. The Alva School is a proud represent representation of the Charles Foster chapter to support our school and our community from assisting with food drives, clothing collections, school supply drives, running events at our fall festival, being buddies for our elementary students and supporting dances and other school-based activities, especially this year with Hurricane Ian. A lot of our service hours this year came from helping our community. Our NJS members are responsible, reliable, respectful, and most importantly, role models. They are the ones that our student body look, look to as an example of what qualities emanate and contribute to a successful member of our community. I couldn't be prouder to welcome this year's newest members to our fantastic program. Next slide, please. Oh, that's fine. Uh, this is Charles Edgar Foster. He was our founder of this chapter here at the Alva School. Miss Lippincott was going to share a little bit with us, but she's working with her eighth graders. Oh, she is here. If we could please welcome Miss Lippincott. She is going to give us some information about the history of Charles Foster. Thank you. Our chapter was actually started by a principal, Stephen Hutnick, and they chose Charles Edgar Foster to name our chapter because he is an Alvin alumni and was extremely involved Ivy League graduate. He was born in 1913. Now, if any of you don't remember 1913, I surely don't. Alva was very rural. It was open range. The kids either came up the school, up the river to school in her boat. They brought their guns to school with them and hunted on the way home so mama had a squirrel for the pot. It was open range and so the school was fenced, but not for the same reason as today. It was to keep the cows out. Mr. Foster passed away on March 6, 2005. He was a Hendry and a Blunt. A Blunt is a, an old family name here in Alva and Hendry, according to the Hendry County. He graduated from Alva High School in 1932. There were 13 people in his class. He went on to graduate from the University of Florida. In 1939, he married the love of his life, Margaret. They both served in World War II and after the war attended Columbia University and afterwards he came home. He came home, he was a teacher, an instructional materials supervisor. His wife was a music teacher, she was my music teacher. And they retired in 1975. He did more in retirement than he did even in his years as a teacher. He volunteered at the Clusa Nature Center, he was one of the founding members uh, he worked at his church. He worked over here at the Alva Museum. He helped form the Caloosahatchee River Citizens Association. They called him the River Rat. He loved the river. He wrote two books, The History of the Caloosa Nature Center and The Benevolent Dane, Captain Peter Nelson, who is the founder of Alva. Now, I grew up hearing the name Charles Edgar. And it took me a long time to figure out that Charles Edgar was the same Mr. Foster that the rest of the world talked about. And when I came back in 2000 to teach here at Alva, Mr. Foster came every year to the NJHS induction. And in the beginning, in 2000, he was pretty steady on his feet. He would come in with a smile on his face, and pretty much what you see is what you got. And he always wanted to know about, you know, my family members. He grew up with them. And when he took the stage, he would address you specifically. He would tell you, first of all, say thank you to your parents, to your teachers, to those people who have helped you get where you are today. And then he would say to you, life has a lot of roadblocks, stumbles, don't let it stop you. Don't let it get in the way. Just keep on keeping on. Now I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but he always would tell a story, and I'm not going to paraphrase that. He was going to say to you, you know, there's lots of things that you need to overcome, but in the words 
of John Paul Jones damned the torpedoes full speed ahead. Now, I love history. And I went and looked it up to make sure. John Paul Jones was a Scotsman. And he fought on the American Revolution on our side. And he was in battle on the high seas just off the coast of England with a Serapis, an English warship. And the Serapis had bombarded John Paul Jones' ship. It was on fire, his masts were gone, his ship was sinking, and the admiral of the Serapis called across, Are you ready to surrender? And he said, No, I haven't even started fighting yet. He and his crew were able to grapple to the Serapis, pull it across. They boarded the Serapis, and in the end, John Paul Jones was victorious, but he watched his ship sink. So where did the torpedoes come from? The torpedoes came from Admiral David Farragut, Civil War. He had been told, I want you to sail up the Mississippi River, cut the south off from east and west, and then we can end this war. He took his ship into Mobile Bay and was told, sir, we can't go across that bay. It's full of torpedoes. If we hit one of them, we're going to go sky high. And his response was, using the word correctly, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. What he was saying to you was, he's so proud of you. He didn't know you. But he knew you would be here. He knew you would come. And he knew, just like his life, there would be obstacles, there would be roadblocks that you would need to overcome. And he wanted to encourage you. Keep on keeping on. Don't stop. Full speed ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bird and Ms. Lemoncott, for sharing the history and accomplishments of our program. Now to share a little more about National Junior Honor Society and the characteristics we need to help uphold. I will begin by telling you about leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence in the school in taking initiative in class and school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a fundamental ch charge to each of our members and to the candidates. Now our Vice President, Sabrina, will share about the character of an NJHS member. Thank you, Addison. Now I'll be telling you about character. Character is a force within each individual which distinguishes that person from other people. It gives each individual their own uniqueness. Without character, one can have no respect for themselves nor hope to attain respect to others. It is a force which guides one through life when once developed grows steadily. Character is achieved. It is the product of constant and ceaseless striving to make the right choice. The problem of character could be the lack of self-control. We must actually be what we wish to appear but to others. By demonstrating such qualities as reliability, honesty, and sincerity, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Arlen, our service record keeper, will explain the next pillar of an NJHS member. Thank you, Sabrina. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultured mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education is ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to, highest, to the highest success, and it can be acquired only in one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand the world 
through the opportunities inherent in scholarship, our treasurer, Brandon, will now share about citizenship. Thank you, Arlen. Citizenship is vital to the strength of our country. It requires effort and commitment. Without it, there would be a lack of democracy. In the words of the late President John F. Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. It is the duty of each person to participate responsibility in the affairs that govern America. Arlen will now explain the last pillar of an NJHS member. Thank you, Brandon. Service can be best described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is a quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. And now Mrs. Bird will start our induction of new members. Please give a round of applause for this year's NJHS officers as this is their last duty of the year. Today we welcome this year's NJHS members. These outstanding students were selected for our program based on their concern for and personal commitment to a community, their individual integrity, honesty, and trust, an unwavering pledge to abide and establish policies and regulations, their willingness to stand and be an advocate for those who are experiencing adversity, their commitment to fairness and social justice, and their respect for the rights, needs, reputation, and intellectual and physical property of others. Inductees, before receiving your certificates to membership, would the new members please rise and recite the NJHS pledge with us. The pledge will be here on the board. I pledge to myself to uphold, you have to say it with me. <laughs> this is the first time. I pledge to myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and I will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. You can have a seat. Thank you. At this time, we would like to officially introduce our incoming NJHS members. When your name is called, please stand and make your way to what you mean to get your certificate from there you'll receive your induction certificate parents if you could please hold your applause until all members have been called okay Yanni Alicia Addison do you want to hand it to them Orlando Bredenkamp Tyler Capaldo, Caden Capello, Savannah Coleman, Benjamin Evans, Paige Fenton, Hope Frazier, Jordan Harrell, Piper Higginbotham, Aaliyah Hill, Sawyer Klein, Alexander Mineta, Elena Martinez, Gracie Mecklefresh, Madeline McGrath, Caden Mesador, Addison Nellen, Jamie Pena, Madeline Perry, Taylor Penta, Sophia Pomeras, Robert Pringle, Trey, Braden Ryan, 
Kenzie Shalgo, Olivia Scott, Taylor Smith, Brooklyn Saud, Farah Stevens, Madison Stewart, Peyton Watkins, Riley Williams, and Taya Willis. We also have three um, new inductees that are at the book battle. We have Abigail, Nayani, and one other. I can't remember off the top of my head. And Leah Swanson, yes, thank you. So if you would please give us a big round of applause for your new NJHS members. I would like to officially offer my congratulations to you all as our new members of the Alva Schools National Juniors Honor Society. Give yourself a round of applause. The hard work that you have put in to get here does not stop here. Next year, you are going to have to maintain your academic excellence as well as your role model behavior, so keep that in mind. That concludes our program today. Newly elected members, we look forward to your participation in this honorable group next year. And again, congratulations. Please join your family for pictures and a celebration of your accomplishments with the cake. Take some pictures, and then we will get back to our day. Thank you so much for being here, parents. <laughs> Members, make sure you thank your parents.